no matter how smart our system is, if our sprinkler heads aren't installed properly, it doesn't matter. Coefficient of uniformity is a statistical method of evaluating a system's uniformity. That's how the system is working as a whole. The CU is all measured on a densigram and it's in a laboratory situation. Every manufacturer's catalog has their laboratory numbers in there. These manufacturers spend millions of dollars on these laboratories where they do these testing of these heads. They want their numbers to be better than their competitors' numbers. They're spending tons of money. The one thing they're shy on is running this whole thing in a vacuum, okay? They're in buildings, absolutely zero humidity, absolutely zero airflow. You know, they've got these things pinned down to where this is what my sprinkler head does. So when you're designing or you're reading the charts, just remember that all of those charts are done in a laboratory. These numbers are done in a laboratory. They can tell us some information, but let's make sure that we're not relying on that a thousand percent. And we'll talk about that a little bit more on spacing. So your distribution uniformity, that's the spacing. This system is a gear drive rotor system. It's set up on triangle spacing. And true to fashion, you've got some dry spots here. You got dry spots here, dry spots here. You got a big old dry spot here. Traditionally, we call this a stretched system. Why is it stretched? It's because this sprinkler head is not watering that one over there, and that sprinkler head's not watering this one over here. They have to water each other. Spray system, gear drive rotor system, to get the water to go that far, it has to water itself. I mean, it can't water itself. It has to rely on its neighbor to water it. If you don't have at least head-to-head -head coverage in those situations, you're going to get dry spots. Okay, and these dry spots may not show up right now. Man, my system works great 99% of the winter. Okay, summertime come along, my customers aren't very happy. Okay, we got donuts. Big donuts around gear drive rotors. Big donuts around spray heads. Okay, what's the common way to cure a donut? How do you fix a donut? Out in the field. What's the number one fix? First thing guys do. Up the runtime, right? Oop, we need more water. Well, there goes your 20% savings because now you're micro flood irrigating instead of having your system set up properly, okay? Let alone the 50, 60, 70% more water use you're gonna use by doing stuff like that. So what these things show us in a laboratory is how the system works in a stretch situation. If you look, now we get over here, the system's getting a little better. It may be because they're nozzling properly. Okay, beautiful. Matched precipitation rate. Pretty cool word. It's even better with gear drive rotors because they give you a whole, they got one rack, one nozzle, I mean one head, 12 nozzles. That's cool, 12 nozzles. I wonder why I need 12 of them for one head, okay? What happens? Every single head out there has got a number seven nozzle in it. Okay, so this little corner and this little corner has got a number seven and this little corner has got a number seven. Okay, so if we've got a number seven nozzle here, that's a quarter spray, a number seven nozzle there that's a half spray, and a number seven there that's a full spray, what's the problem with that? That full spray is going to be a dry spot. That's going to be a donut. You're now, you're watering four times as much area as this quarter. That's why they give you a rack of 10 nozzles. That's why they give you that book that says, okay, if that full circle, if we put a four gallon a minute nozzle in there, okay, that half has to be a two gallon a minute nozzle. 
and this quarter has got to be a one gallon minute nozzle. They all say they're matched precip rate, but you got to change the nozzles. They can't all be a number seven nozzle, let alone a number 10 nozzle. Okay? Number 10 nozzle puts out about 10 gallons a minute. 10, 10, 10. I can walk onto your sites today and I will start pulling up rotors and they all have the same nozzle in them. I see architects design them with all the same, any architects? <laughs> degree, degree. Design them with all the same nozzle in them. Say, like, guys, what'd you do that for? Okay? With all the same nozzle in them, you're gonna get some crazy looking stuff. When you start getting closer to match precip, it's gonna get right. Okay, match precip rate. Now, on our match precip rate spray heads, you don't have to do that. They automatically do it. The manufacturer says it's a fixed arc, here's what it's gonna do. At this arc, here's our precip. So MPR, match precip rates, okay, when they did them in, in spray heads, it's fine. But in gear drive rotors, it's up to you. It's up to us as water managers. That's the low hanging fruit that we can grab onto and say, you know what, I know what's wrong with your system. I mean, this quarter over here, I'm up to my ankle in mud and we got a donut around that full circle on exactly the same valve. That's the opportunity.